What is up everybody? Today we are going to go back out on the lake. It is a little bit windy, um, but we are going to test our Daredevil Spoon. Um, haven't fished one of those in forever. In fact, probably haven't fished one since I was a little kid, but we are going to bring the slab stacker rig with us as well. Uh, the wind has been pretty brutal recently, but hopefully uh, we'll be able to make a session out of it. But real quick while we're getting the kayak in the water, this is the rigs that we're going to be using. All right, so for today's video, we're going to go and try something a little bit different again. Um, last time we were out on this lake, we used the Rapala jigging wrap and had some moderate success with it. Um, today, the air temperature dropped again about 15 degrees. So I'm expecting the water temperature to be much colder and for the bike to be a little bit slower. Um, so today we're going to test out the old school daredevil spoons. Now, if you grew up fishing, you know what these are. I mean, they come pretty much in every beginner's tackle box. Uh, probably might be the first lure most people have thrown, honestly. But uh, we are going to use this spoon um, and try and jig up some fish. I do hear from you know other anglers that most of the times when you're using something like this in cold water, you're getting a reactionary bite. Um, they do have a ton of action just, you know, when they're jigging them up and down and the flutter as they fall. Um, they do have, from what, you know, I remember a unique, you know, strike triggering action, but uh, they're very small. These, the ones we're going to be trying out today, I believe are 232 ounce so they're you know not very big um we also do have some serrata spoons that we want to try out possibly if the time you know allows us to but uh all we're going to be doing is tying one of these bad boys on putting a little wax worm on the bottom you know double hook and just slowly working it up and down um vertically jigging we also as always are going to bring out our favorite crappie uh setup which is the slab stack all it is marabou jig with a standout hook um about six inches up but we're gonna try you know fishing both and see what happens um i am gonna look in my tackle box i swear i had one of these in like a neon orange color if that's the case i definitely want to put that one on first because the water uh, has been very churned up recently with all the rain and wind we've had so uh, stay tuned. I'm going to go load up the kayak and we'll get out there and get some fish. Today we're going to be kind of battling the elements. We do have 17 mile per hour winds sustained with gusts up to 25. So it's not going to be your most ideal trip, um, but we are going to be testing out a daredevil spoon. I haven't fished them since I was a little kid, man, and I'm super excited to try them out. But First, we are going to hit a spot. Um, when I was coming back in from my last crappie trip out here, literally paddled up and down this lake, like all around, over three miles. And go figure, like one spot on the way back, we marked a ton of fish. Now, you know, everybody knows day to day fish move, so, you know, they might not be there, but we're going to give it a shot. I'm just Now, one of the bad things about this much wind is we're kind of at the will of it. So even with an anchor, we are kind of blown all over the place. So, I mean, it's going to be tough sledding today, but uh, what do they say? I think the saying was smooth seas never made a skilled sailor. So, yeah, we're embracing the challenge today. I got the spoon to my right, slab stacker to my left just see what's happening I mean last time we were out the word temperature was you know 41 today we're marking 37 which you know four four degrees is a big difference honestly in a day so hopefully it doesn't you know screw things up but we'll see how it goes all right we're getting a little bit of a tap on the slab stacker oh there we go son first fish of the day first fish of the day oh so the slab stacker never denies look at that freaking 
winter slab crappy, bro. Listen, wind, rain, that ain't stopping us. Oh, we're getting a hit on the other rod too. We're like the US Postal Service, brother. You know, we're out in the rain, sleet, snow, wind, catching fish. All right, so we just adjusted the anchor probably for the sixth time. We we cannot win today when it comes to anchoring. Um, it seems like every time we go to anchor and make an adjustment, we have to pull it and you know adjust again because the wind kind of is shifting a little bit. Um, oh, let's go! First fish on the daredevil, baby. Let's go. Let's freaking go, man. I'm so pumped. Let's go, man. I haven't caught a fish on a daredevil in probably two decades. Now, granted, I haven't used a daredevil in so long, but not a bad gill. All right, we're going to let this guy go. So that's not a bad sign. I, mean, I am starting to see some fish, but problem is we are moving a ton with the wind so you know we'll mark them and then kind of blow over where they are but they are moving that's for sure oh man even with gloves on man I, I tell you what you start to lose feeling in your hands pretty easily once they get a, the, the slightest bit of moisture or water but we're gonna put some wax worms on the bottom of this hook. Uh, drop it back down. Now I am marking fish. We're in like 13 feet. They seem to be like three feet off the bottom. So we're gonna drop it all the way down. There's a hit on the daredevil. Got him. Dude, dude. Got him. Look at that. Look at that. First crappie on it. Let's go. Let's freaking go, man. I was about to say, I was starting to lose hope on these guys. All right, we're going to let this guy go. Get a quick video. Off he goes. All right, man. All right. Man, that wind is just... Oh, man. You get a gust of it right to the face, and it is just absolutely brutal. Keeping an eye on my slab stacker. Kind of nuts how we haven't had a fish on it. <clears throat> first fish of the day we got on it and since then we haven't had a single uh, fish I mean we did have a hit but it was one of those swing and a miss I want to say it was a small uh, bluegill to be honest with you the way it felt usually with the crappie it's more of like a the big ones it's like a tug 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 the little bluegills it's almost like a tap 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 like a little almost like they're pecking it Man, we are on fish right now. I'm hoping one of these fish will make the day and the day the right way. Oh. Had something messing with the slab stacker. Got it. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Look at that. What did I say? It, it, it's almost like the fish can hear me. The last time I was out, I literally said, you know, I haven't caught a fish yet on this Rapala ice jig, and then boom, we catch a fish. I just said, we haven't had a fish, you know, since we began the trip on the slab stacker, and boom, we catch a crappie. All right, guys, unfortunately, time to pull the anchor up. We are out of time. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, as always, 
If you're not a subscriber to the channel, click that subscribe button down below. Uh, let me know what you thought. Have a great day. I'll see you guys soon.